Senator Kirk, five. Thank you. I recognize seven minutes. I will, uh, uh, Mr. Secretary, send to you uh, your attention uh, a uh, chart that we've done on the cash flow uh, regarding Iran. We estimate that uh, Iran had about $20 billion ready liquid, liquid assets before the uh, P5 plus one, and now has about $25 billion bucks, and that is the uh, additional oil revenues that you talked about, and uh, money released by the United States back to Iran, showing uh, about 50 years of Hezbollah payments that we have issued to her, that, that Iran now has with her improving cash flow position. I would expect that we would see even more terrorism with this uh, additional money available to the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran. Well, Senator, with, with, all, with all due respect, uh, the fact is that Iran has huge economic problems. And I'm guaranteeing you that all that, whatever additional flow of money there was going to them is, is not all flowing, or I can't tell you the amount, but to, to Hezbollah, because they have enormous challenges at home uh, and demand on that money. There is no way Iran is, is better off when we are taking somewhere between 15 and $30 billion and putting it into a frozen asset fund. That's what's happening right now. And, and so they're losing. They're losing enormous sums of money and more than $100 billion that is now frozen and growing in its amount because of the amount that our sanctions are depriving them of. And the release of some, you know, as I've said, the release of this money, in fact, I don't even agree with that figure. There's no way that the release of the funds under the agreement has resulted in that, and I'll tell you why. Because the funds are only released on an incremental basis month to month, and we're only two months in. And so there is no way they've received, I don't know what the total amount is, billion so? I mean, it, it may be a billion or so. I interrupt you with that, uh, say uh, that uh, I believe the first payments uh, the Iranian delegation at the P5 is uh, not, uh, it's paid for and rented by a uh, by, uh, 400 million regular uh, payment. Of course, I know why Javid uh the uh, foreign minister is there. Of course, I know why he's there because he's being paid to be there. Uh, I think I had a long discussion along with uh, Congressman Israel with uh, the foreign minister who is a long and eloquent uh, Holocaust denier. Has he uh, raised that subject with you? No, but I raised it uh, with him on one occasion. But uh, that's we're focused on the nuclear negotiation right now, Senator. I would just follow up and say uh, it's about uh, 1.55 billion released under the uh, interim agreement to Iran that we uh, estimate at 100 million dollars a year uh, payments uh, by Iran to Hezbollah. That's a lot of Hezbollah terrorism. Well, if it's going to them, they have, they have money to give to Hezbollah, Senator. I mean, Senator, Hezbollah is fighting in Syria. They are paying for that. They're supporting it, no question about it. But, uh, you know. Uh, uh, Secretary, I'm going to forward to you a list of 280 Americans who have been murdered by uh, Hezbollah, who uh, this is broken down by state, including uh, from Illinois, uh, Kevin Holmes and David Gray and uh, John Phillips, Jr., who I knew, who was in my church in Wilmette, and uh, Adam Schimmerhoff, uh, Eric uh, Sturgill, and uh, Eric Walker, and uh, Eric Pullum, all from Illinois. Well, Senator, uh, look, I uh, am glad that we have designated Hezbollah a terrorist organization, and we've led the effort to make sure that Europe has followed now and labeled them a terrorist organization. And if I had uh, my druthers, uh, obviously, uh, we'd like to see them disappear. But we're working at, at dealing with Hezbollah and other terrorist organizations in many different ways. But I do believe that uh, uh, we're on the right track with respect to this first step agreement with Iran, because the alternatives are, uh, you know, not as, uh, Productive as the possibility of being able to reach an agreement through the negotiating process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Thank you Chairman Leahy. And 